Well, let's just let's check out some MLB scores today. Um, well, the Yankees keep rolling as they beat the Tigers five to four in ten innings. They're thirty nine and fifteen. Yeah, yeah. The the Yankees are rolling, and the Cleveland Guardians beat the Orioles three to two. Pirates shut out the Diamondbacks three nothing. Twins beat the Blue Jays eight to six. White Sox beat the Royals six to five. Uh, Nationals beat the Reds five to four. Uh, the Braves beat the Rockies eight to seven. Mariners beat the Rangers six to five. Uh, the cheating Astros beat the Royals seven to four. The Cardinals beat the Cubs five to three in extra innings. And now we're down to our California teams. Well, the Padres beat the Brewers six to four and take three out of four. Boy, the Padres should have swept that series though. And unfortunately, the hated Giants beat the Marlins five to one as they split that series. And the Angels have lost 11 in a row. Yeah, they, they couldn't protect the lead and Rossell Iglesias was the hard luck loser in, in this game. And Patrick Sandoval wasn't that good either, only going four and two third innings. And uh, Kyle Gibson didn't pitch that well, but Corey Knable got the win in relief just by giving up a run. And uh, Bryce Harper had four RBIs today. And Bryce and S Scott hit the uh, game winner in the bottom of the ninth with two out. Yeah, the Angels are a game under 500 now. Uh, should the Angels fire Joe Madden? Well, it's it's only June, but meanwhile the the Boston Red Sox are at 500 now as the as they defeat the Oakland A's five to two. Yeah, Rich Hill pitched six strong innings for the win. And how about uh, Devers and Alex Verdugo and Kike? Yeah, the A's are a disappointment. And the Dodgers lose to the Mets 5-4 to four in 10 innings. Julio Urias and Trevor Williams pitched it very well today, actually. Yeah, but Bruce Gratterall gave up the lead in the 8th inning. And Craig Kimbrell was a hard luck loser today. And Seth Lugo got the win in relief. And Andonis Medina got the save. Pete Alonso, even though he didn't homer, he he had an RBI double. And uh, Starlin Marte just had a good game. And Trey Turner had a two-run homer. Will Smith had a solo shot. And Justin Turner went hitless today. However, Eddie Alvarez had a game-tying RBI single in the ninth inning. But it wasn't enough. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Meanwhile, uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning keep their Stanley Cup playoff finals hopes alive as they they win game three, beating the Rangers. And the Golden State Warriors have defeated the Boston Celtics 107-88. And yes, it's that third quarter magic that the Warriors did. Now, Jason Tatum had 28 points in the loss. Jalen Brown had 17 points. Al Horford only had two points. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for the Celtics. However, Steph Curry led the way with 29 points. Kevon Looney had 12 points. Andrew Wiggins had 11 points. Jordan Poole had 17 points. And, uh, yeah, the series is tied 1-1. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and Steve Kerr has never trailed two games to none in a best of seven series since he became the coach. And yes, Golden State is 5-0 and, and following a loss, and uh, the Celtics snapped their four-game win road winning streak. And, uh, well... The series shifts to Boston, tied 1-1, so this is a huge win for the Warriors. 
and uh, 10788. And yes, this is going to be a long series, like I said. And uh, we'll see what happens when the series shifts to Beantown. And, um, but yeah, it's Steve Kerr. And uh, that's pretty much it. Well, we just celebrated Brian McKnight's birthday today, along with uh, also Freddie Stone and Kenny G have birthdays as well, and Marky Mark. Well, that's all we got for you tonight. And have a good rest of your evening. I'll catch you all later. Uh, peace out.